Greg Jones, assistant coach here at WVU. Greg, I was just talking to you about uh, being the, the greatest wrestler in the history of the program. Okay, What do you think that does to your guys every day and for them to see how the greatest wrestler in the history of the program, you know, they remember it in their era. It's not like you're, you're, you're this is your fifth year, right? Okay. What, what do you think that does for the guys every day, seeing how you live and how you live your life? Um, you know, I like to think that I, you know, I provide a, a great example for these guys on a, on a daily basis. Um, you know, <clears throat> being this close to someone that has uh, really achieved, achieved a high level and has walked in their shoes um, and kind of drank the same water in the same program and kind of done the same things um, throughout the career, I think that makes, uh, you know, the things that I've accomplished um, seem a lot more attainable for them. Um, and, you know, I think... Uh, you know, like you said, just providing a very good example and with, with the work ethic and the passion and the energy that I bring bring to the wrestling room. All right, you got your brother on the team. Uh, is he the last one? Is he the last, Jones? Yes, yes. Okay, and you, you actually told me something kind of shocking. I asked you guys his state finishes. Mm -hmm. He's got the most state titles, doesn't he? He does. You and, yes. and uh, Virtus have one apiece. Correct. Well, uh, you know, what's the key to that? You guys had huge learning curves, you, you and Virtus, when you came here. Uh, you know, multiple All-American finishes, national championships with yourself, three of them. But, you know, what do you got to do to get your brother maybe on the same track as you guys? Um, if it's the state title thing, yeah, I mean, you know, I think I really, um, really matured and, and really, really uh, took a very big step up whenever I came to college. Um, I didn't wrestle year-round at, at all in high school. I played football, I played baseball. Um, so really my only steady dose of, of wrestling um, in high school was for, you know, three or four months just during the high school season. So... Um, that gave me, left me with a lot, a lot of growth potential. Uh, whenever my college career took off, but um, Donnie, Donnie had some success, more success earlier in his high school, high school career than, than Virtus and myself. Um, you know, the, Donnie brings a, a great amount of energy, a great attitude, a great learning attitude um, to the wrestling room on a daily basis. Um, you know, we just we gotta uh, figure out a way to get him to win these uh, big matches on a consistent basis. Um, and I think he's doing it. I think he, he's taking some strides. Um, he probably didn't start off his college career quite where uh, Virtus and myself did, um, but I think he's getting there. What's it like coaching your brother? It's great. It's great. Um, I, and I think it's something that you know we'll have even a deeper passion, passion and understanding for you know as at, at whenever we get older, uh, kind of looking back and kind of the memories and the experiences that we're both sharing together. Um, some people think that it's it's a little bit tough on him, um, but you know he's been my brother all his life. You know uh, that's not changing just because you know he goes, he goes to school here. Okay, you guys have had the injury bug big time here at WVU. Yeah. I mean, it's probably one of the rougher seasons that uh, you've been involved in the program ten years now. You know, talk about what you guys need to do to to get healthy and what you're going to do for some guys. You know, like uh, your two-time All-American uh, Raider. Yeah, I mean, it's you know, no doubt right now. Right now, we're struggling a little bit. We're uh, swimming upstream. Um, the guys, the guys we're putting in there, you know, they're they're doing the best they can, and we're doing the best we can with with what we got right now. Um, you know, they're they're continuing to work. We try to create a po as positive atmosphere and environment as we as we can. Um, but you know, you you know, I think we have the horses, but we we can't run them. Uh, you know, we're, hopefully we'll get a couple guys back as the. Um, EWL tournament approaches. Um, uh, Brandon Raider, two-time All-American, true, true freshman, true sophomore All-American for us. Um, missed two seasons with a knee injury, um, and he's gonna more than likely. It's not confirmed yet. More likely, will we'll, uh, miss this season, which will be his third missed season. Um, so we're gonna appeal that for uh, get a six-year for him. Um, you know, uh, but we're just just fighting through it. All right, Greg, you got anything else for me before we go check out this amazing facility? Um, you know, I appreciate what you guys do uh, coming, coming to Morgantown and what you guys are going to do for the EWL. Um, you know, if I, if I want to kind of sell Morgantown, you know, um, I think a lot of people understand that, uh, you know, Morgantown's a big kind of a secret. Uh, they don't understand what's going on here. Uh, we have an excellent, excellent sports, uh, sports atmosphere here. Um, WVU Athletics, the state of West Virginia doesn't have any professional sports teams. Uh, we're the state's flagship university. Um, so everyone uh, in the state really jumps behind the Mountaineers. And, um, you know, I'm proud to be a West Virginian now, and um, it's something that, that uh, we take a, a great deal of pride in.